Then. Woo! Now. Acknowledge me. The king of cake. You can't see me. Forever. Together. It is 7 p.m. on the East Coast. You're looking at the link. Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, home of the NFL's Eagles and home on April 6th and 7th of WrestleMania 40. But it's the afternoon in the desert. We are smack dab in the middle of the entertainment capital of the world, the Strip in Las Vegas. Every media outlet on the planet is here for Super Bowl 58 this Sunday from Allegiant Stadium, which hosted WWE SummerSlam in 2021. And also here for our event tonight. A bit earlier today, the arrival of WWE Hall of Famer and Chief Content Officer Paul Triple H Levesque. There has been so much intrigue heading into tonight, including the fate of this man at WrestleMania. Hashtag we want Cody has been trending worldwide for days. It seems he's chosen world champion Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, or has he? Cody on Instagram today said he made his choice because for 1,257 days, this man has ruled as undisputed WWE Champion. Arriving last night, the private jet Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. Roman is very confident. What we got that matters is here now. Is the tribal chief headed for a collision with this man? The most electrifying man in all of entertainment. Businessman, actor, third generation WWE superstar, and former eight-time WWE Champion, The Rock. Will The Rock face Roman at WrestleMania? We find out now. Where were you 40 years ago? Here? Maybe you were here. If you were lucky enough, you were here. Welcome to WrestleMania. Four decades later, the spirit of WrestleMania still leaves us captivated. And a kick out! I am not believing this! Providing us with moments that transcend time. The irresistible force meeting the immovable object. The first. The last. Moments of triumph. Kofi did it! Kofi is champion! And heartbreak. The oh hell yes. The underdogs who became unforgettable. Dreams do come true! Trailblazing the path for all of us. And now, this year at WrestleMania 40, the biggest WrestleMania of all time, there is a new energy. Yeah! A fresh vibe. and overpowering electricity. An unprecedented excitement. The greatest night in live entertainment. Welcome to WrestleMania! And now, Pizza Hut delivers the WrestleMania 40 kickoff event. Hello, everyone. You are looking live at the T-Mobile Arena on a strip in Las Vegas, packed with WWE fans and media from around the world. Welcome to the WrestleMania 40 kickoff show. 
Hello again, everybody, and welcome inside T-Mobile Arena. I'm Michael Cole, the voice of Monday Night Raw, and I have a very esteemed panel here with me tonight. Let's first start with the man who hosts the Pat McAfee Show on ESPN. He's part of ESPN College Game Day. He's an all-decade hunter. He is a two-time nominee for the NFL Football Hall of Fame. He is also my partner on Monday Night Raw and undefeated at WrestleMania, Pat McAfee. Thank you, thank you. Michael Cole, I was just dancing with Big E, and he looks handsome and smells fantastic, and I can't wait to chit-chat with him. And then CM Punk, are you kidding me? Getting a chance to stand here alongside a living legend? Can I wait? But if you look around, Las Vegas has showed up here for this WrestleMania kickoff. A decision's gonna be made tonight that is gonna be talked about until the end of time. Michael Cohen is an honor to be here. Well, next to Pat McAfee, one of the most entertaining men on the entire planet, former Iowa Hawkeye, WWE Champion, NXT Champion, multi-time Intercontinental Champion, Tag Team Champion, former Mr. Money in the Bank, Big E! Oh, it feels good to be here. It feels real good to be here, look. I'm just here so Punk doesn't get fined. Look, we love you, but you have a reputation. You fly off at the handle, okay? So I'm, I'm keeping an eye on you. And ladies and gentlemen, the voice of the voiceless, the second city saint, five-time world champion, including one of the longest reigns ever, two-time Mr. Money in Bank, holder of various other titles. What's his name? What's up? And most importantly, the husband of AJ Lee. <laughs> Please welcome CM Punk. Oh, it is good to be here in Las Vegas. It helps my heart. I'm injured, but I'm still in the mix. And to be able to be here with Michael Cole and all the coal miners. Wow. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. So we've got so much to talk about, but before we get into that, Biggie, I want to start with you. How's the neck? It's good. It's really good. So thank you to everyone who's reached out, who's checked in. Oh, y'all too sweet. Y'all too sweet on me. No, seriously, man, I'm really grateful. I'm in great health, so thank you for asking. And uh, Mr. Punk, how about the triceps? Well, it sucks. Um, <laughs> I'm one week from surgery today, and it's still not 100%, so I'm a little upset about it. Uh, okay. I am heartbroken. I cannot compete at WrestleMania, but like I said, Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm still in the mix. I'm still gonna piss a lot of people off. My mouth still works. Hell yeah. Well, I'm sure you're gonna My piss a lot still of people works. off tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to it. Let's piss some people off. So let's, so let's get started because this, this atmosphere here in Las Vegas feels like a premium live event. There is so much riding on what is going to happen in our kickoff show tonight. And Pat, I wanna start with you because you made some news on the Pat McAfee show on ESPN today when you had The Rock as your guest. How did that go? Yeah, the great one. Rocky, Rocky. He stopped by the program earlier today and uh, he acknowledged those fine people that obviously support a man who's on a Mount Rushmore of this business, this company, a guy who took the WWE to new heights and has obviously had a massive legacy in the WWE. See what you started? Then there's a contingency of fans who have massive respect for the American nightmare, who has earned an opportunity to face off against Roman and finish his story in The Rock, called the people that aren't thinking about the big picture the Cody crybabies today. And yeah, that's, that's, so, that, that happened today. So. so Pat, I want to turn my attention to the man to my right, CM Punk, because uh, you had a similar story uh, to what Cody Rhodes is going through. And yeah, where were all you in 2013? <laughs> Let me ask you that right off the top. So what do you think should happen here tonight? What should happen with these main event matches at WrestleMania? Listen, it's hard to not be in the mix physically, but I think the road to WrestleMania is going to be really, really spicy. And if everybody plays their cards right, and I'm talking about Cody, I'm talking about Roman. I'm talking about Seth. I'm talking about The Rock. We could be in for one hell of a roller coaster of a ride. What needs to happen from all of these guys is there needs to be chips on shoulders. 
the, this, the Super Bowl's around the corner. From an NFL uh, perspective, you're an NFL guy. Yeah, There's yeah. a whole bunch of quarterbacks, mm -hmm. right? And they just put Tom Brady in the Super Bowl game after some quarterbacks have carried the team to the NFC Championship. If I'm that guy, I'm not happy about it. But I understand, yeah. right? I understand box office. But I also understand making a name for yourself. Cody and Seth are in a position to be able to make a name for themselves, and I'm especially looking at Cody. I want to ask you, Big E, because you went through this in your career. It took you a long, long time to finally get to the top of the mountain and win the WWE Championship. That is what Cody Rhodes is trying to do here. So where do you feel, where do you uh, weigh in on all this? Look, I I'm here to beat the drum for Cody because he's someone, he's someone who has a special connection with the fans. He's someone who does the make wishes. He's someone who really relates to people in a very authentic way. And I've seen the way he reached out to the Huber family after Brody passed, what he's done for that family, that connection. That's what you want out of a top guy. That's what you want out of someone who's going to carry this show every Monday, who's going to be there on the live events. And look, I get wrestling is not a meritocracy. This is not what we do, but I think what he has done, the legacy he has, he has left inside the ring and outside the ring, that's a guy that you want to put that crown on him and say, you're the guy, let's carry this company forward. Well, we are continuing on in our WrestleMania 40 kickoff show. Ladies and gentlemen, WrestleMania 40 kickoff is brought to you in part by WWE 2K24, the best roster, the biggest matches, experience 40 years of WrestleMania with WWE 2K24, available for early access March 5th, pre-order today. So we've got our broadcast correspondents with us here tonight as well. I want to go back to the locker room area and start off with our own Jackie Redman. Thank you so much, Cole. I can confirm The Rock is in the building here at T-Mobile Arena. He has been making the rounds ever since he arrived in Vegas, including that pretty feisty appearance on Pat McAfee's show that has everybody talking. And after speaking with people close to The Rock, they say he is very excited to address the media today in what he is calling a historic press event where he will cement his road to WrestleMania. Byron, over to you. Hey, thanks so much, Jackie. Right now, I have the pleasure of being joined by the wise man, Paul Heyman. And Paul, you would know better than anyone else what kind of mood Roman Reigns is in as he prepares to head out on that stage and stand face to face. Mood? A type of mood? Well, oh, he, he's honored to be here since you're in the, the Bloodline locker room, Byron. Thank you so much. It's, it's made his mood so much better to come to Vegas just to see you. Did that answer your question about his mood? Here's the mood in the Bloodline locker room, ladies and gentlemen. The mood in the Bloodline locker room is no different than it's been for three and a half years. We look out in the outside world and what do we hear? We want Cody. We want Cody. And then we also hear everybody chanting. We also hear everybody cheering. We also see all the love for the biggest movie star in history, The Rock. Everybody wants to talk about Cody. Everybody wants to talk about The Rock. But you know what everybody's really talking about? Which one of them gets to main event WrestleMania with Roman Reigns? That's what this is all about. That's what the hype is about. That's what the controversy is about. That's what the discussion is about. Who gets to fight the tribal chief? Who gets to share the spotlight with the head of the table? Who gets to step into the ring with the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion? Who gets to main event WrestleMania? And until someone beats Roman Reigns, that's where the main event of WrestleMania will remain to be. That's Roman Reigns' mood. Mood. How's his mood? Michael will, uh... My tribal chief, how's your mood? Byron wants to know. Let's just send things back to you. Thanks, Byron. So we know Seth Rollins wants Cody Rhodes, and we got a, a few seconds left here. I want to go around the table and ask you guys who you think Roman Reigns wants. Pat? I think Roman Reigns wants The Rock so that they can find out who the true 
head of the table of the bloodline is, because that's a story they've been talking about for their entire lives, Cole. Biggie. I think the same, yeah, I think he wants to rock. You know, biggest global superstar there is, there's the family ties, they go way back. Uh, there's, there's so much, the story there, it's, I wanna see Cody finish that story, but I think if I'm Roman, I'm picking the rock. Punk? Understanding box office and main events, Roman Reigns wants the rock. However, the rock did not throw me out of the Royal Rumble, Cody did. I feel like it's more who Roman doesn't want, and he doesn't want Cody. Well, we all saw what happened at WrestleMania last year. We're going to hear from Big E and CM Punk at the end of our festivities tonight. But ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news that we want to tell you about right now. Whoa! We are excited to announce that WWE and X have partnered up to launch WWE Speed, a weekly video series showcasing new matches up to five minutes in length, which will be distributed exclusively on X. Beginning spring 2024, WWE and X will deliver this new format for fast-paced and action-packed time matches showcasing your favorite WWE superstars. Tune in on X. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please welcome WWE's Chief Content Officer. He is a Hall of Famer, Paul Triple H Levesque. In 1985, in a sold out Madison Square Garden, a tag team match took place between Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff and his partner, Rowdy Roddy Piper. They would take on the team of Mr. T and the immortal Hulk Hogan. That night was so big, anybody that was anybody had to be there. It drew pop culture icons and celebrities from all over, the, all over the globe. Muhammad Ali was a special guest referee. Cindy Lauper was there. Liberace was there. The Rockettes, everybody was there. And it was named WrestleMania. The WrestleMania would launch WWE from a small regional promotion to a global juggernaut that you see today selling out stadiums all over the globe. In those 40 years since then, a lot would change. WWE would see the cable television boom. It would see closed circuit television. It would pioneer the pay-per-view industry. It would then launch and be the first mover in the streaming services of direct to consumer content with the WWE Network. And just recently, it would announce a deal with Netflix for over $5 billion. Along the way, it would create global superstars, icons known the world over, like Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage, like Andre the Giant and Ric Flair, like Bret Hart and the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. 
Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Undertaker, Mick Foley, Batista, John Cena, the list goes on and on. Those people would catapult WWE to where it is today. But on April 6th and April 7th in Philadelphia, we're gonna take it to a whole new level. It is a new time. It is a new era. And it is an all new WWE. And I promise you this, you ain't seen nothing yet. So Las Vegas, Because right now, we start the road to WrestleMania 40. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the game. Awesome. Paul Triple H Levesque. That was awesome. Unbelievable. Well, let's take a look now a special inside look at our first guest this evening. Bianca Belair is who I wanted to be as a little girl, but I was too shy to be her. I'm the strongest, the roughest, the toughest, the quickest, the greatest, the best, the longest reigning women's champion of this modern era. So put some respect on my name. A champion since birth in college and All-American, and then as soon as she stepped into the WWE, she won and won and won and won and won. An absolute beast. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bianca Belair. I'm on my own against the wall. that we are in Vegas the week of the Super Bowl to talk about our Super Bowl, WrestleMania! Now, the road to WrestleMania is one of the most exciting times of the year. It's exactly why my husband, Montez Ford, and I decided to, we decided to share with the world, show them how amazing WrestleMania is by filming our docu-series, Love in WWE, Bianca Montez, on Hulu. Check it out. But we wanted to show the world the ups and the downs, the ins and the outs, the sacrifices, all the way to the triumphs of WrestleMania. Because WrestleMania is a spectacle. It is where you get the best entrances, the best gears, the best matches. It is where history is made. It's where I made history. I made history at 
WrestleMania 37 with Sasha Banks, <laughs> where we became the first two black females to ever main event WrestleMania, and I walked out as champion. <laughs> All the way to WrestleMania 38, where I tore the house down with Becky Lynch. <laughs> and I walked out as champion again. <laughs> then to WrestleMania 39, where I defeated Asuka and I three-peated and walked out as WrestleMania champion again. Now, I've been here very, a short amount of time, but I've had a lot of amazing WrestleMania moments, but this year is different for me. I'm not walking into WrestleMania as champion. It is okay. Because I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get to WrestleMania. I want to continue my undefeated streak. Now, I, I might not know what my journey is to WrestleMania. I might not know what lane I'm gonna be in. But what I do know is that I will be on the road to WrestleMania because you cannot spell WrestleMania without E-S-T. I'm on my own against the wall. Well, Bianca Belair starts her road to WrestleMania tomorrow night on SmackDown because she's in a qualifying match for the Women's Elimination Chamber match two weeks from Saturday in Perth, Australia. Yeah, and I'm sure that Bianca Belair is going to figure it out because did you hear this place whenever she walked out here? You guys are putting on a show right now. This crowd, you can feel the energy. It is palpable in this T-Mobile arena because how much is on the line? Start with Bianca. I'm excited, Cole. I am excited for what's happening. And speaking of Australia, let's take a look at the Eradicator. I am the best bloody woman here in the WWE. Rhea Ripley is a genuine badass. Rhea's been unstoppable. How can you not be impressed by Rhea Ripley? No one stands in my way. This is my division. You're lucky you're living in it. She's running the WWE right now. And when she goes back to Australia, that place is going to go bonkers and throw their Vegemite stuff all over the place for the queen coming back to her home country. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. This is my brutality. on the road to WrestleMania. The one event that people dream to be a part of. They scratch and they claw just to make it. But this isn't any WrestleMania. This is WrestleMania 40. And you know what makes this so special, guys? Because Mommy is walking in and out as the most dominant woman to hold a championship within this company. I think that deserves a louder ovation, don't you? 
there we go. So it was really no surprise to me. As I was saying, it's really no surprise to me as to why the Royal Rumble winner, Bailey would choose to turn on her friends and challenge Io Shirai instead of me. Because why waste your WrestleMania golden ticket when you know you're just gonna lose? But now for me, for me, I have a WrestleMania before WrestleMania. I have the Elimination Chamber in Perth, Australia. My home country. So once I'm done dealing with Nia Jax. Yeah, yeah, boom. I will be ready for whoever it is that wins that women's elimination chamber match. Cause to me, it really doesn't matter who that person is. You know why? Because mommy is always. WrestleMania press conference without big time backs now, did you? Because the man has come around to Las Vegas! And as of Monday, the man is officially in the Elimination Chamber for the first time ever. Which means that the man will win the Elimination Chamber for the first time ever. Which means that in front of all your little friends and family in your home country, the man will challenge you for your title at WrestleMania where it will be Mammy versus the man for the first time ever. That is, that is, of course, if you can get past Nia Jax first. But you say, you say, you say, you say, it doesn't, it doesn't matter who you face. It doesn't matter who you face because mommy's always on top, huh? Yeah. But it does matter, Rhea. It does matter who you face, because I have made a legendary career out of knocking golden girls off their top spot. So mommy, so mommy is gonna learn what it's like to be a bottom. Because that's what happens when the man comes around. Champions her women's world championship against the irresistible force 
Nia Jax. On the same night, a women's elimination chamber match. Six women will qualify. Only one woman will be left standing. The winner of the elimination chamber match heads to WrestleMania to take on the women's world champion. And tomorrow night, Friday Night SmackDown, first qualifying match for the blue brand. Bianca Belair goes one-on-one -on -one with Mei Chin. One of these two women will qualify for the women's elimination chamber match. Well, arriving earlier today here at T-Mobile, none other than the world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins. Who will Rollins face at WrestleMania? We should find out tonight because Pat, look who's still to come. The Rock, Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes! And Seth freaking Rollins on the WrestleMania 40 kickoff show. Oh, yeah. Hot honey pizza and wings from Pizza What? That's not a thing. Pizza What? What? Mm, pizza What? Pizza What? Pizza What? Dude! Pizza Hut Hot Honey Pizza and Wings. Get them while you can. It's the first new flavor to make you say, Pizza What? Cody Rhodes suffered a nightmare tonight. I think this is how my story ends. Roman Reigns has done it again. This is the story of legacy. Look at the power of Bel Air! out of your story. <laughs> the My story started at the very beginning, brother. My story's full of ass whooping. I'll end your story. This story's not finished. Rated T for Team. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WrestleMania. It's living up to everything I expected it to be. He's throwing the money out. The Barachi's got a pretty fair kick. The happening of the century is about to go down here on WrestleMania. Unbelievable pandemonium here in the garden. Everybody, Madison Square Garden, all the way around the world. Now you know what it's all about, brother. And 40 years later, we're still going strong. We are live for the WrestleMania kickoff event in Las Vegas. We're at T-Mobile, the Super Bowl, just down the road on Sunday. But tonight, it is all about WrestleMania 40. Yeah, and whose story's getting finished, Cole? Well, WrestleMania 40 kickoff is delivered by Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. Hey, this is exciting. You're out here, of course, with the Pat McAfee Show on ESPN, but you can feel like we're closing in on WrestleMania season. Yeah, the entire world has bestowed upon Las Vegas because this city is fantastic in hosting the Super Bowl. And then there was a presser announced, and it said, oh, damn, the week got bigger. A decision's going to be made that's talked about for generations and generations. It's the perfect time for the perfect event in the perfect place, Cole. Well, let's figure this all out because let's take a look at our next guest here tonight. Hell yeah. Welcome to Monday Night Rollins. I am a visionary. I am a revolutionary. I am your world heavyweight champion, Seth I'm in a league of my own. I told them ice in my chain. Remind me I'm the coldest. This is greatness of holding. Freaking Rollins is one of the 
the self-proclaimed workhorse champion, the real champion, the forgotten name seemingly in all of this goal, Seth freaking Rollins. Vegas, I love you. I am a visionary. I am a revolutionary. I am your world heavyweight champion. I am Seth. Still a pretty big pop, I'd say. <laughs> In Vegas, we are on the road to WrestleMania. WrestleMania 40, WrestleMania XL, Extra Large, the biggest WrestleMania of all time. <laughs> now, what do you say? We cut to the chase and we get ourselves a main event. Yeah. Now, I'm not the man to make that decision. I'm just a prize at the end of the road. So what do you say? We get the man who can make that decision out here. The two-time Royal Rumble winner. The American Nightmare himself, Cody Rhodes.
Las Vegas! Acknowledge me! Hey guys, he showed up for work once. I love to see it. Good to see you, big brother. And he showed up to work in his wife's shoes. Oh, anyway, don't be mad, don't be him. mad. I he can just run matter. circles Let's around you. Let's talk about somebody who matters right now. Let's talk about Cody Rhodes. The man who can't make his own choice, huh? Mr. Hesitation. Here's a life lesson, kids. If you hesitate, your moment's gonna move on. And that's what's happened to Cody Rhodes. It's no longer his decision. It's now your tribal chief's decision. That's exactly how it works, thank you. So tonight, I choose who faces me in the main event of WrestleMania. Get, get this bum out of here, will you? Get, just get this bum out of here already, huh? I choose. I choose The Rock.
Now let The Rock ask you a question. Do you think that Roman Reigns is gonna beat The Rock at WrestleMania? think that The Rock is going to beat the Tribal Chief at WrestleMania? that The Rock and Roman Reigns will be the biggest main event in the history of the WWE. All right. I love the passion. The Rock loves the passion. So, to members of the press, welcome, glad you're here. To the WWE Universe. To the WWE Universe, welcome. To everyone watching around the world, welcome. And certainly, to the millions of The Rocks fans, welcome. And on top of all that, members of the press, world watching, I introduce you to the Cody Crybabies. Let The Rock show you all and everyone around the world. I'm gonna show you something right now that is very important. It's very cool. And I think you're gonna like it a lot. But regardless whether you like it or you don't like it, you love it, you hate it, one thing, for damn sure, you are gonna Respect it. Take a look.
When you look at this incredible family tree, and I want you to take a look at the very top of the tree. At the top of that tree, The Rock's grandfather and Roman's grandfather made a blood oath in that our family in Samoan said, Ainga, Ainga forever. And if you can't see that, if you can't see the fact that this is proof that there is only one dominant and powerful royal family in professional wrestling. If you can't see that, and if you think that the Rock and Roman Reigns isn't the biggest main event in the history of WrestleMania, then, then, save your booze, save your booze, then, if that's what you think, then in simple rock speak, it doesn't matter what you think. WrestleMania 40, Philadelphia, The Rock and Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion versus the People's Champion. Whether you like it or you don't like it, the People's Champion in the biggest main event in the history of professional wrestling, bound by blood. Hold on, hold on. This, this right here is bold. Roman, Roman, you're out here calling the shots, dictating WrestleMania 40. And as the tribal chief, as the undisputed champion, you have a lot of stroke. But it is not your right, it is not your distinction to determine the main event. It is mine. I won the Royal Rumble. And Rock. We had a wonderful conversation. I had many conversations. I have made my decision. At WrestleMania 40, in the main event, I choose you, Roman Reigns. crazy. You must be stupid or something, huh? This is a done deal. You're old news. Go over there with the number twos. The number two table will have you now. Loser bracket. Right there in the dummy in green. Just go. Leave. You're embarrassing yourself now. Last year was your year. That was your moment. You were only a chapter in my book. Nobody cares about your story. Nobody cares about you finishing the story. You're embarrassing your entire family now. You, just understand this, you're irrelevant, just like your dad. Fair. Here you are, 
Here you are talking about family. Is that what the bloodline is? Let me ask you a question. How's Jay? It's not a family. You're a meal ticket. And they are nothing but lackeys, but yes men. They're goons. And what is this match all about right here? Who sits at the head of the table? What does it matter when neither of you have been doing any of the cooking for two years? Earlier, we had that family tree up there. And you've invoked my father before, so let me go ahead and do the same. If your grandfather was here, if the high chief, his grandfather, was here, they'd be ashamed of you. Let me make something perfectly clear to you. When you talk about his family, you're talking about my family. When you're talking about his ancestors, you're talking about my ancestors. And when you're talking about his blood, you're talking about my blood. So now, we have a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, a, uh, just a bombshell moment here tonight. Cody Rhodes invoking what he earned at the Royal Rumble to choose Roman Reigns to meet Reigns at WrestleMania for the Undisputed Championship. I want to start first with CM Punk, the master of the pipe bomb. What did you think about this moment? Man, it's like Valentine's Day. I choose you, I choose you. Uh, listen, Cody's way too diplomatic. Somebody slaps you, you got to bust them right back in the mouth. That's what I would have done. I want to see Cody punch Rock right in the face. Who wants to see Cody punch Rock in the face? Yeah. It, it, I feel like it needs to happen. Listen, I, like I said, Rock did not throw me over the top rope in the Royal Rumble. Cody won the Royal Rumble. It is his shot to call. That's where I stand. Big E, your thoughts? Man, that's explosive, man. That's, 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 uh, I, I don't know what we're building. Are we, we looking at it? It looks like a, a tag. I, I, I love that. I don't know where this is going. I have no idea. And we have, what, two months until WrestleMania. So my eyes will be peeled. It's, uh, it's a lot to digest right there. And, and so many questions. I mean, what happens to the World Heavyweight Championship and Seth Rollins? Pat, you've been a big supporter of The Rock throughout all this. Your uh, thoughts on what happened tonight? Well, The Rock just went to bat for his entire family, his entire bloodline, got offended, smacked Cody right in the mouth. I mean, smacked him right in the mouth. And then Seth Rollins almost came to the defense of Cody to The Rock. 
And then on the way out, I think we overheard Rock saying, we'll do whatever the hell we want here. It's almost like a little flexing from the bloodline for everything they've earned. The Rock, obviously, on Mount Rushmore. You're talking about Roman Reigns. This guy has his own Mount Rushmore for being the greatest of all time. And they just wanted to remind the world, it seemed like, there a little bit. But We Want Cody has been trending worldwide for uh, a week. Here too, here. And he finally came out here, and he did what he earned the right to do, and that was pick who he wants to face at WrestleMania. So if it's Cody and Roman at WrestleMania, CM Punk, can Cody finally finish the story? I think he can, but he's going to have to start swinging back. You know, you just can't let a man slap you in the face and get away with it. I'd, I'd be ripping out eyeballs. I'd be punching people, even if I had one arm. Big. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing is, <laughs> talk about the, the odds being stacked against you. Rock is not only the biggest star on the planet, but he's also a member of the board. He's also kind of your boss. He's also, as we know, he has his ties with Nick Khan. He's got a lot. He's got a lot up against him, man. Good luck to, to Cody. All very valid, but also he's got ties to the bloodline now too. It seems like you know Roman and Rock were standing right next to each other. When you talk about him, you're talking about me. Are they about to just? I mean, what the hell are they thinking about doing to the entire WWE right now together? Well, my question is now, what happens to Seth Rollins? He's the world heavyweight champion. He's been disrespected for a number of weeks now. They're calling it the B Team, the secondary title. Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. Seth went on national television. And he said he hated my gut, so I have no love lost for him. He's another guy. I think he's got to stop with the, the stylist, and he's got to take his balls out of his purse, and he's got to punch somebody in the mouth, period. That's what Seth's got to do. Big E, again, we talked about this on the, the, the pre-show before all this happened. I mean, you worked hard just like Cody Rhodes to finally win the WWE Championship. Cody has to finish the story. This is massive pressure on Cody now at WrestleMania. There's not going to be a third chance. No, no, this is it, man. This is it, man. And I, I got chills when Cody was cutting that promo because I think back to where he was when he left the company. I think about him languishing in the mid-card to have left, to come back, to have the fans behind him, to have this much support, this much love, to have the fire in his belly. Like, this is the time. It's right now. It's not next year. It's not SummerSlam. You got to do it now. So step on the gas and make sure it's done. So, Pat, let's hey, that's, what we, that's what we learned here, right? Yeah, it, Cody Roman. Cody picked Roman. It's Cody Roman for the undisputed championship at WrestleMania. Seth Rollins still up in the air. Where does the Rock stand? And this was a massive main event, right? Rock Roman Reigns. We talked about it on the kickoff show. What happens to that? Now? I don't know what's official now. <laughs> After what I just saw, I have no idea. So you're saying Cody and Roman is the match? Well, yeah, Cody, that's, that's Cody, Cody, Cody Cole, chose. Tell us, Cole. What? Cody chose Roman Reigns. He had that chance to choose who he wanted from winning the Royal Rumble match. He said it's Roman and Cody for the undisputed championship at WrestleMania. That makes a really good point, though. Rock is on the board. Well, yeah. so even I mean, he, so, so Cody just got slapped by his boss. His boss put his hands on him. I'm throwing hands. Yeah, but, I'm, but we, I'm whipping everybody. <laughs> I don't care who it is. Here's the thing, though. We have two nights. So, I mean, do we see both these matches at WrestleMania? Who knows? We could. I mean, who knows what happens? Where does Seth Rollins figure into all this? Who does he defend the championship against? I mean, it's so up in the air. Yeah, and the fact that I don't know if you looked around here in T-Mobile Arena, but this was announced just a few days ago. With a lot going on in Las Vegas. A few thousand people came in here to let the world know how much they support Cody finishing his story. And then The Rock cuts a promo as some, like this was the perfect situation. Like this was the perfect presser, I think, going into kickoff. Lot but I still don't know what the hell too. happened. I still don't know what the hell happened. Well, you better figure it out because we got to talk about it on Monday Night Raw in a couple of nights. Rock <laughs> smacked Cody Rhodes in the mouth. Seth Rollins then got chewed out by The Rock and Roman Reigns. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our uh, broadcast colleague Jackie Redman is standing by. Thank you, Cole. Paul, a lot just transpired. Can we get some sort of comment on, on what the heck is going on here? Um, look, moments like this are difficult, right? Everybody sort of goes into business for themselves. Um, hard to say what just went on right there. A lot of a lot of tension right now. A lot of egos. A lot of. Um, you got to fix it. Fix it. Have them our family again, and that's what happens. It's out of line. You know it. It's not out of line. How much? How much? Have them. If you don't fix it, we will. Have them family again. You're lucky you are too. 
Well, so, so how do you fix this? You can't fix it. Cody made his choice. I don't know how you do this. No, you fix. This is how you fix it. Personal issues can be solved when men fight. Let them fight. I'm if fight. he's mad, I'm if fight. he's mad, they said something about his family. Punch him in the teeth. If Cody's pissed off, he got his hands put on him. Punch him in the teeth. That's how you solve things. It's pro wrestling, for God's sake. Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, I second that. This is what we do. This is, what, this is what we do. We build conflict, and uh, yeah, I want to see. I want to see some violence too. So yeah. listen, listen, since I came back, there's a lot of man buns in the WWE, and a lot, of, a lot of them aren't attached to men. If you follow my drift, all right? Hey, Punch let, people in the face. Let them fight. You and I can talk about it, right? Bingo! Can't wait to talk about it. When was the last time we seen Rock like that? By the way, ladies and gentlemen, is that the way the WWE is headed? I love that promo. Thank you to Pat McAfee. Thank you to Big E. Thank you to CM Punk. I'm Michael Cole. We'll see you Monday night on Raw, but can you believe WrestleMania 40? Just 58 days away!